welcome back everyone, Toy Shiz here, and I am back in again for yet another McFarlane Toys news update. No, we are not going to be discussing DC Multiverse today, but don't worry, we got a lot more about that coming up soon. But we are headed to the DCAU to talk about some new, new Batman Adventures reissues, which... Between Target's Batman Adventures and then these new Batman Adventures figures, it's been largely hit and miss. I, for one, am very happy that they are reissuing these as I did not collect them back in the day. They are a lot more toyetic this time around, a lot less breaking pieces, which the original DC Collectibles runs definitely ran into, but they are missing key weaponry, especially with certain villains. You would kind of expect things of that nature to be with certain characters, but hopefully with this wave, it's a little bit of a return to form. But before we get into all that, as always, for those of you interested in anything we're going to be talking about here today, I will have affiliate pre-order links down in the description below. Places like Amazon, Entertainment Earth, GameStop, things of that nature. They may go elsewhere, much like the first two waves of the TNBA reissues. They are actually popping up on Walmart store shelves now, which... That is really great to see. So if you miss the first two waves, you can head out to your Walmart. But in the meantime, for this newest wave, yes, links down in the description below. Thank you so much for using my links. Now, to head into the TNBA, we have Torch Song, the infamous episode which debuted the villainous Firefly. And it was a pretty cool episode. It dealt a lot with fire, which was a no-no when they wanted to do Firefly for the Fox Batman Adventures. But of course, what wouldn't be a Batman Adventures video without a Batman? So we have the anti-fire suit Batman. This was a really cool suit that, again, debuted in the episode. If you're going to fight Mr. Freeze, you need an anti-freeze suit. If you're going to fight Firefly, well, you need your anti-fire suit. Love the colors on this. I love the Bruce Tim design, the angular nature of the suits. It's very cool. He's got a ton of extra hands, and lo and behold, check it out. He does have his gun. That is not necessarily like a gun gun. Thanks for putting that in there. I appreciate that because it would be really weird fighting Firefly without said gun. Now, it's going to be the same old, same old. You're going to get a cell reproduction from the episode. There is no Build-A-Figure to the TNBAs, although I really wish they would start doing that. There's plenty of characters that would definitely benefit from a Build-A-Figure. Here he is, all boxed up, ready to go. Tons of hands, but thank goodness he's got something to hold at least. So I think it's a darn good looking figure and I'm happy to grab this one. Now, what's an anti-fire suit Batman without the villain to then go after? Of course, we need Garfield Lynn's Firefly. Always loved the look for this guy. Loved what they did here. He's a little rocketeerish in a in a kooky, weird sort of way. And I love the eyes, jet black with a little red tone to them. He is going to come with a ton of extra hands. And while I will say, you look at the figure, he's got the wings, he's got the antenna, he has a little brace for the gun. The gun is going to be the same exact one as the anti-fire suit Batman. And here's the bummer for that, because in the original release of this DC Collectibles Firefly, the gun is different. He has basically it's a it's a fire gun, right? So you have a certain look to it. Me thinks that because of Warner's whole no guns policy, this one doesn't really look like a space age weapon, much like the Batman one. This one looks more like a gun gun. If you look at it on the cartoon from his appearances in TNBA and then also Justice League, it's the same type of fire weapon. I would have loved if they would have put his fire lightsaber in the packaging. That would have been a nice upgrade. But yes, unfortunately, it's the same gun, which makes me hope that the gun fits into the holster because it wasn't designed for that gun. You see the predicaments that we hear. Gorgeous looking figure, but we always run into that. It's like the second wave's Joker. He's got all the hands. He comes with hyenas. That's nice, but no guns. A Joker without a gun, that's just, it's weird, especially 
anything Batman animated, TNBA, that sort of deal. So that's my two cents on that. Uh, he has a new adventure stand. Yay. <laughs> He's going to come with the cell reproduction. Man, oh, man. And looking at this figure, as cool as the design is, yeah, I, I really wish that they could have thrown that other gun in there because it just looks weird. Now you got the same gun as Batman. It's a whole thing. You're going to think about it for no reason. That's how nerdy this stuff gets. But all packaged up, ready to go. If you want Firefly, well, you know what to do by now. But with all these Batmans and Fireflies, truth be told, we do need a yellow-skinned wacky man to kind of round out the wave. So to head to the episode Beware the Creeper, which... Is quite the episode. The king of thrift stores himself, the Creeper. And Jack Ryder has never looked better. I am definitely looking forward to this figure. It looks awesome. Back in the day, Hasbro, Kenner, did the TNBA Creeper. That was an amazing figure then. And this looks like an amazing figure now, reissue or otherwise. And no, I don't think the boa is too much. Not for you, baby. But he has several hands. He's got the creepy hands, fisted hands, open hands. He comes with the reproduction cell. He's got that wild grin, the open eyes. And I love the boa. The boa, it makes no sense, but <laughs> who cares? Jack Ryder, the creeper, all set, ready to go, boxed up. This is a great way, and I'm hoping based on what they told me at San Diego Comic-Con, that we will be seeing much, much more in the coming months. Besides the gun for Firefly, this wave is a home run for me. I will be grabbing all three. So that's going to wrap it up for my quick look at the brand new wave of the McFarlane Toys XDC Direct, the new, new Batman adventures. Three characters, which one's a Batman, but he's got a cool suit. I love everything DCAU. And when I say that, I mean that in a way that the Zeta Project exists and I like certain episodes of Static Shock, specifically the ones where Batman or Superman or Batman Beyond kind of guest starred. Those were definitely a lot of fun. And it's cool to see that they are part of the DCAU. Watching that growing up, you didn't really know that until you're like, wait, they're doing a crossover? <gasps> the whole thing is just one big universe. And that was amazing back in the day. You MCU people out there, you think the Marvels did it first. No, it was really the DCAU. They totally rocked that. And I'm just hoping that they eventually start tackling Superman, the animated series. I would love to see a reissue of Superman, Lois Lane, and then get into his cavalcade of villains. Like Luminous and Lobo, the evil cop from the late Clark Kent. It could be all of them, right? But you've heard my thoughts, and now I'm curious to know yours. Comment below, let me know. Let's talk everything DCAU. And I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food. But most importantly, remember, what would be the one build-a-figure you would want to see for anything TNBA? Any character, anyone that would really deserve a build-a-figure in that animated series... Let's hear no right or wrong answers down below. And when they do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.